to never take the first no. Why? Because if you never take the first no, you can be 22 years old and standing at the Air Force Academy, graduating, throwing your hat in the air with your engineering degree. And a few months later, you can be flying acrobatic Air Force jets upside down and supersonic. And at age 24, you can be in command of your KC-135 crew somewhere over the Atlantic Ocean with four fighters pulling up behind you because they need fuel and you have it. And you're taking them to England and Iceland and Germany and Saudi Arabia. And you fast forward 20 years later from that, you can be in command of an entire unit of Americans who are flowing in to prepare our nation to do the fight against the terrorists. And you can have active duty and reserve and guardsmen all arriving at your location. And a few days later, you can be at the controls of the first airplane from your location as it rolls into Iraq. Never take the first no. So now I'm going to back way up and talk to you about something that happened when I was your age in high school. So I'm 14 years old. I'm growing up in southeast Texas, a very small town called Orange. Um, not extraordinarily heavy high school emphasis on STEM, but I loved math and science, and I wanted to study aerospace engineering. And growing up in that area of Texas in the 60s and the 70s, the Apollo race to the moon was the big deal, and then moving on with everything we were doing out of Houston, and I wanted to be so much a part of that. I wanted to fly airplanes. I wanted to fly Air Force jets, specifically. And we take a family vacation up through Colorado, and I look off in the distance there in Colorado Springs, and I see this institution called the Air Force Academy. And I go back to school, and I start doing this investigating. And just like the other military academies, where Congressman Pompeo went to West Point, we have the Academy, Air Force Academy, and we have Annapolis, it's a four-year institution with degrees in math and science and engineering, and yes, humanities as well. And it's free. The taxpayers pay for it. And when you graduate, you go on to serve in our nation's military. And if you're medically qualified, you go on to be a pilot. And I thought, this is exactly what I want. It's an education that my family can afford. It's free. I get what I want out, out of it, and I get to serve our nation. So I went to my high school counselor. I'm 14 years old, and I said, I want to apply for the Air Force Academy. Can you tell me about this? because I know that the way to get in is you have to be nominated by a congressman or a senator. Now why is that? Because our nation thought far enough ahead when they did these academies that they want a smattering of everything across our nation. So if every congressman and senator can have five students in each one of our academies, then you get a smattering of our nation in the academies. And she looked at me, and I will never forget this, in her thick Texas drawl, and she said, Honey, you can't go there because you're a girl. I thought, what? You got this federally funded institution, and by the way, I had a part-time job, I was paying taxes, and I can't go there because I'm a girl? Well, I was incensed. So I went home and took out a sheet of notebook paper, I kid you not, notebook paper from class, and I hand wrote a letter to my congressman, Charlie Wilson telling him just how displeased I was that I can't go to the Air Force Academy and get that engineering degree and fly airplanes like I want to because I'm a girl. He never answered. Two years later, the Academy's open to women. I am thrilled. I do all of the paperwork, the applications, and of course the first step is to see if a congressman or senator will nominate you. And Congressman Charlie Wilson comes to Orange, Texas for a town meeting. I sit through that entire town meeting. I line up in the big line afterwards with all of the big wigs of our small town waiting to see Charlie Wilson. And I get up to him and I shake his hand and I said, I'm Kathy, my application to the Air Force Academy is in your office. I would really like to go there. And he shook my hand and gave me kind of a furrowed brow and he said, did you write me a letter a couple of years ago? <laughs> yes, sir, I did. And the next week, I had my nomination to the Air Force Academy. So my message to you is, whatever your dream is, never take the first no, because in front of you is that STEM degree or any other degree you're interested in, and that dream of being a pilot, if that's what you want. But never, ever, ever take the first no and take care of the resources we have here in Wichita and the people you have here who are willing to be your mentors and encourage you. 
but don't take that first no. Thanks. <laughs>